Okay, so tonight's episode, we're going to be talking about it, the Robert Ludwig hot mix. What is it? How do you figure out if you have one? What's the backstory? All the information I'm going to give you right now. Uh, so basically, when Led Zeppelin II first came out, the guys went to Robert Ludwig to master the album. Uh, they trusted him. They knew he would do a great job. So Led Zeppelin II comes out the way Led Zeppelin, the band, wanted it. Everything was full sound, heavy bass, uh, nice highs. Everything was just coming through the speakers. like It was almost like a live performance. You could hear everything. Everything was pure. So apparently... Um, an Atlantic executive's child, I think it was his daughter, uh, you know, she was listening to Led Zeppelin II on her little turntable, you know, one of those ones with the built-in speakers, and uh, apparently she puts it on, puts on a whole lot of love, it just starts skipping all over the place. Her turntable couldn't handle it. It was way too hot, as they say. <laughs> So basically, she goes to her father and says, Dad, I, I can't even listen to this record. The, the needle's keep skipping all over the place. I can't enjoy it. So this executive, without really much thought, he just stops the presses on Led Zeppelin too. So the version that the band intended to come out just pretty much gets taken off the mark, the market. So <laughs> next thing you know, the version that everybody in today's world knows. This is the version that has been out for 50 years. Um, and that's this version. The one you see in my hands. This one has been available since, what, 1970. Uh, if you look at the number above the Atlantic logo, that says SD191. 27 SD 19127 So if you have this version in your collection unfortunately it's not the original Robert Ludwig mix So if you do have a different number than this you're on the right track So if you've gone to your record and checked it out and saw that you don't have that number that five digit number and you have a four digit number on your cover like this SD 8236 SD 8236 if you have this version in your collection you may be on the right track also the cover isn't smooth it's almost like cardboard it's not glossy like the other one. The gatefold is basically the same. That cover, basically the same. But that paper, it almost, it almost has like a, I would say like a brown paper bag feel, or I, I don't know. It, it's just, it's not glossy. If you compare it with, with the other one, you can almost say like side by side. This one is, see it's catching the light. This one does not catch the light at all. This one does. It's, it's your typical, typical 1970s release. So if you do have the SD8236, you're on the right track, but that doesn't mean you have the Robert Ludwig mix. There's a lot of versions that were released and uh, we're gonna figure out what you have. So the inner sleeve that it should have is this. It's a pretty common 1970 or 1969 Atlantic inner sleeve. It's got some of your classic releases on there. You got your Dusty Springfield, the Led Zeppelin One. All these other, your Aretha. So, if you have this inner, you're on the right track, but I'm not promising anything. So then you go to your actual record. Two 
too much glare. Sorry. SD8236 should be on the label. Now, if you have that, it's a good possibility it's the Robert Ludwig, but it's not, it's not for certain. You have to look at the matrix numbers. So get out your reading glasses, because I can't really read these things without reading glasses on. But you're gonna wanna look at it and you'll see you have an ST dash A dash 691 671. Then you're gonna see an A. Then a strangely scratched LW. I cannot remember what that stands for. Um, it's a sideways LW, and then under that is a P. Then you keep going around the record. Then you're getting to a W. Then you keep going. Then an AT, which I'm assuming is for Atlantic. I don't know, maybe. Then next, you're going to see, if you have it, there's an RL scratched in. I'm trying to get the light to shine on it. I believe I'm catching it right there. RL. Now, just because you have a side A RL doesn't necessarily mean you're going to have a side B RL. They made a bunch of different versions. They pressed one side was the Robert Ludwig version. The other side was not. So then you want to flip it over and you want to look again. Um, let's see. ST dash A dash 691 692 A. Then that sideways LW with the P under it. AT. Then RL. And this, the one on side B is even smaller. It's very small. Um, again, it's right above my thumb. It's hard to see. Uh, you kind of go blind looking at these things, but it's there. And uh, there you have it. So if you do have one of these versions, it makes it probably 10 times more valuable than the regular version, which is nice. And it sounds amazing. Put it on your turntable and just crank it, and you're, you're really going to love it. If you compare it with the other more common version, you'll, you'll see instantly just that this is the superior version. So that's basically it. Um, thanks for hanging out with me. You know, please give me a like, uh, leave a comment. Let me know any of the weird versions that you have. Maybe you have a version that just has Robert Ludwig on side B. Maybe you have a version that's only side A. Maybe you have some other crazy version I don't even know about. I mean, this is the stuff that I live for. I love this stuff. So, like I said, leave me a comment, give me a like, uh, subscribe. This should be the thing. I don't know, I'm pointing. I don't know if it's there or not. I'll figure it out as I go. <laughs> so yeah, thank you very much for watching. And, uh, you know, subscribe and uh, I'll have some new episodes coming up. Uh, my last video was all about my Metallica collection. If you'd like to check that out, um, there's the link. And uh, have a great night and I'll see you guys soon.